despite this game's reputation, I feel like it can't be that bad a game. I mean, there must be some good points to it. Let's take a look at the reviews and see what people are saying. Let's see what the actual fans of the game are saying. I got this game for free, and I still feel like I paid too much for it. Okay, not a fan. Launch this stuff. Minimize the window. Get your cards. Delete this stuff. Never remember about it. Okay, so this guy is not really interested in the game. Uh, this guy just wants his cards. Please kill me. Okay, so the reviews aren't great. People aren't enjoying it in the reviews. But uh, I wanted to give it a shot. I think this could be a pretty good game. I mean, the people that were paid to review it, they seem to like it. That's something. Yeah, this, it, an acquired taste, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, these reviews don't look great. It's uh, uncomfortable. Uh, pushes boundaries of what is acceptable. Includes footage of people calling it garbage. Okay, I mean, it could still be good. It could still be a good game. Let's try it. Okay, so this game ended up being so confusing that before I even let you watch it, I just need to give a little bit of explanation first. It starts off just with a video of two people who happened to play the game a long time ago. And for some reason they decided to put that at the beginning of the game before putting it on Steam. These people don't like the game, yet they keep appearing throughout the game. So that I don't know what's going on there, I don't know whether these guys are actually involved with the making of the game, or whether they're just two completely random people that they decided to throw in. So that, that's a mystery I haven't solved yet. Hi, it's us again, Shovelware Queens. So, we found this old game, um, we vaguely remember buying it in the 90s. The 90s? It sucked. Um, I'm not even sure how we got it, but I remember a joke we made about we coming down from space on an asteroid. <laughs> okay. okay. The same dream every night. I'm falling into it. My name is wow. Sister Tabitha. Beautiful. And I have been sleeping for eight years. Faith must be greater than that of the garden. Mine asteroids to find faith. It is found by reading the Bible. So, after two very long cutscenes, you're finally dropped into the gameplay with absolutely zero direction whatsoever. They give you no instructions, they don't tell you how to shoot, they don't tell you how to fly. They just give you very, very vague direction as to what the goal is. Now the goal is to find Bibles. You do that so you can get your faith up so that your faith number can become higher than the garden number. You have to work out how to do this entirely on your own. And as soon as you get started, you suddenly realise that this is an almost impossible task. Because every time you move, you run out of fuel. And you run out of fuel so quickly, that finding enough Bibles to get your faith high enough, is just an almost impossible task to achieve, as you'll see. I should really love putting low fuel down here too. Is that what... Okay. Arrow pointing to where uh, the next Bible is. You can also find something. As I just flew around randomly, trying to figure out what the controls were and how to win, I encountered gameplay mechanics that I just could not explain that made absolutely no sense. There was, a, wait, there was a spaceship in the asteroid. <laughs> I just registered what just happened. A spaceship inside of the asteroid. How, why would there be a spaceship inside of an asteroid? How does it come out and it's suddenly attacking you? It's such a bizarre game. <laughs> there are so many ways to die right now. Run out of fuel, you die. Take too much damage, you die run into this giant spaceship thing in the middle of the map, you die. 
You have to avoid all of this while finding these Bibles which are so hard to find. And then when you finally find one of these Bibles, what is your reward? Everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the world of righteousness. A Bible verse. That's it. So after a while of just flying around and trying to achieve this impossible task and failing miserably, I eventually come upon a brilliant strategy. Doing nothing. It turns out that as soon as you get one Bible, your faith will just keep going up and up and up. So all you have to do is get a single Bible, sit there and wait for your points to get up and you won't run out of fuel and very few things will hit you so you won't take damage either. And so what did I do? I read a book. I just sat back, relaxed and tried to enjoy myself. Ironically, this was the most fun part of the game. Twenty-four. I can see a way through. Level two, we did it. <laughs> what the hell what kind of drawing is that? Blessed be the God <laughs> of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody looks like this. Who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. So while sitting through another very long cutscene, after all of these Bible verses being read out, after all the talk about God and actually having to collect Bibles and up your faith in order to win, a realization suddenly hits me. Yeah, I'm starting to get the feeling this is a religious game. Yeah. Again, that to the praise of the glory of his grace. So once again they drop you right in the middle of gameplay with absolutely zero direction on what you're supposed to do and no warning. But this actually ends up being the only part of the game where I actually start having fun. Unfortunately it comes right before everything goes horribly wrong for me. Wait. Wow. I think you're alive. That's cheating. That's just come up by me. No difference in this game, it's just you have to play this hard. You don't have a choice. Yeah, we just keep holding down. We have a shoot run. No reason not to. Look at the level of concentration on my stupid face. Actually getting into this game. <laughs> it's went on for a long time. There was a lot of deaths before this point. Yeah, as good as this game is. But yeah, once you get here, once you get to this boss. Uh, for some reason this boss it was easier than everything before, I think it was supposed to be hard, but it was literally the easiest part of this entire level, I barely got hit. Yeah, like, got hit once there, but that was it, really. Give me ears to this <laughs> flesh so numb. Sword. Okay, that was random. Leah just got up and walked out. I think she's crying, hang on.
Okay, I don't know who made this game, but they upset my friend. I went to church and my God was good. It doesn't make sense that you want everyone to die. This life is too precious. Like, he's really upset, guys. What's wrong with Leah? Come on. Our game. Huh? Well, that? Yeah. Well, what's wrong? Just... Looks rubbish, doesn't it? It is. Where's, where's the option screen on it? There's no options on it. What if you look into that bit? Huh? That bit there. Looks rubbish to me. Trees 7? What is happening? Those are actors, right? Those are actors that the, the game makers paid to do fake reactions to the game and they just run the way it's going on. Just as I was saying I was enjoying the game, <laughs> it starts getting so much weird. <laughs> what is happening? She's getting bigger and shrinking as this like weird like teeth looking thing that comes towards her. supposed to be getting at this. This is Tree 7. She's standing on a rock in space. She's going to get eaten by some giant attached teeth. This part went on for a long time. So I ended up just reading a book and waiting for whatever was going on to just finish. But a long time went by and it was still going. So I ended up getting a bit impatient. Okay, I did not mean to do that. That I <laughs> just exited the game. Is that save points? Did that? Wait, no, no, no. Do I? I don't have to do the whole thing now, do I? No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. That. Hi, it's us again, Shovelware Queens. So we found this old game. Wait, no, it's the beginning. Um, we really remember playing it. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it sucked. Um. I'm not even sure how we got it, but I remember a joke we made about like, coming down from space on an asteroid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the, this is the, I'm sorry, this is the worst game ever. This deserves all the reviews, all the terrible reviews, all that after all that. I accidentally pressed the button. Take me back to where I was. The same dream every night. This was fun. A great game. Great, uh, great game. I'll give it a one out of ten. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. If you want more of this, you can uh, you can subscribe. Or you can see more of this. If you really want it, if that's if you actually want to see more of this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.